let's talk about servo motors and how to control them. So well, we have this thing called a uh, RC servo pulse, and it's actually a standard. Oh, pulse. Okay, and it's a standard because you can grab a servo from anywhere and create a waveform and feed it to this guy and set its position or its speed or however the servo operates um, and without having to tweak it hardly at all. So if you were to draw a servo pulse, uh, we would do it as a like a voltage versus time graph and we usually run on five volts. And it's gonna start out at zero and it's digital. So it's gonna go the whole way up to five for some amount of time, which is actually important. And I'm gonna call that uh, T for like, for a period. You know, capital T is, is often used to denote period. And then we're gonna wait a certain amount of time, and then we're gonna go up to five volts for some other T, some other duration, and it repeats. So there's no analog or anything going on here. It's either on or off. So RC servo pulse is a form of a digital part of pulse, and it looks fairly similar to Pulse width modulation, PWM. Looks like PWM. Um, but it's fundamentally different in what type of information it's trying to communicate. So, whereas PWM, you would be varying how much time is spent on and how much time is spent off by changing both the, this time and this time. RC servo pulse. We, only time we really care about is this guy and in between the two pulses I mean just like 20 milliseconds that's a fairly standard and then this T ranges from one millisecond to two milliseconds okay and what that also means right in the middle would be 1.5 milliseconds for a 180 degree servo motor one millisecond would put it at zero degrees and two would put it at 180 so 1.5 of course would put it at 90 if it's a cheap servo motor it might not get the full 180 um, you can still feed it from one millisecond to two millisecond pulse but it might just be you know 10 degrees to 170 but you don't have to accommodate that in your pulse really you just I mean if it's a bad servo it's a bad servo um, but some servo motors are like continuous rotation and in that case 90 in the middle will just be off zero will be spinning one direction and 180 will be spinning the other um, but they take the same pulse now, there's another group of components which uses RC servo pulses, and that is uh, brushless motor controllers in like remote control cars and stuff. So the example I'm actually going to do is with a brushless motor. But, you know, first let's generate a servo pulse on our uh, tools here, on our signal generator. So I have the frequency set to 50 hertz. That will give us one pulse every 20 milliseconds because 1,000 divided by 50 is 20. We set our high voltage to five and our low voltage to zero. We want, okay. And the only other thing is duty cycle. And I will set the duty cycle to 5%. And whenever I hook up the oscilloscope, you'll know why. So, 
I'm just monitoring the frequency generator with the oscilloscope. Okay, and I'm gonna adjust the time scaling so that one grid block is the same width as our pulse. So you can see that the grid block right now is set to one millisecond. So at 5% on our frequency generator, it's making a 1% pulse. So intuitively, if I punch this up to 10%, the pulse is twice as wide, AKA two milliseconds. So by varying my signal generator between five and 10%, I can create a standard servo pulse. Pretty cool. Let's hook this up to this uh, rather enormous brushless motor that I have here for testing. So we have three wires here, uh, ground, five volts, which will, there's a five volt power supply in here that it will uh, regulate down from whatever the battery voltage is, like 12, whatever that is. And, but we don't need that in order to control it. That would normally just be used to power your receiver or something. So we're not gonna need that. I've hooked it up to white and black. We're not using gray. And now, if I can clip onto ground. Oh. Oh. The gator clip's not cooperating, okay. And that so we can watch it and then the last thing is well let's put this on five percent so it doesn't turn on immediately here we go here's the power so it just told us that it armed or it's ready to go should be able to slowly increase the pulse. Look at that. Cool. So once again, uh, standard RC servo pulse ranges from one millisecond to two milliseconds. That can either be taking you from zero to 180 degrees, from stop to full speed, from full reverse to full forward. It just depends on what motor you and system you've got hooked up, but the RC servo pulse is always the same. And it's fairly uh, easy to generate one. Well, hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.